Fantastic News on the march. The once treacherous tan foothold known as Hedge Base has been successfully taken by our green boys of Trojan Company. That's right. Finally, good news from the front. Great news is more like it. The man who led the attack was Captain McCaw, CEO of Trojan Company. A man who the tan feared just by the mention of his name. And supporting the captain was his loyal adjutant, Sergeant Stowar. Although they made it through in one piece, these men can testify that conquering Hedge Base was no walk in the park. These harrowing images depict only the aftermath of this battle. The Tans had set up emplacements for perfect ambushes. Barbed wire entanglements stalled the company. Snipers hiding in fortified watchtowers tagged greens before they even knew what hit them. Tan cowards hiding in spider holes skewered men in the back with bayonets. Tanks collided into each other. Machine guns ripped through the hedges. Rockets were fired. Grenades were thrown. Hand-to-hand -hand fighting broke out in trenches. It was a gruesomely epic fight. A battle to remember. With the Tan's strongest point on the line broken, we've been able to regain precious territory once lost. The Tans have pulled back and are held up in the Feldgra Mountains, east of Hedge, forming the Pungya Line, a line of scattered defenses to keep the Greens back from the Feldgras. General Dartmouth commands the 1st Grain Division and oversees every move Captain McCobb and his Trojan Company make. Click your heels, you new recruits. The man has stars on his helmet. The relentless tan General Dune is not a man who gives up easily. A counterattack is expected. There's no denying that. But when and where is what we need to know. The tan did not give up Hedge Base easily. Prisoners could not be taken. General Dune's 10th Armored Division did attempt to retake Hedge shortly after it was conquered. But it was a botched endeavor for the tan. However... Prisoners did come forth this time, and that's just what General Dartmouth needs. These cowards you see will be going through rigorous questioning. We're gonna get it out of them, but if they prove to be inefficient, General Dartmouth will have to find more prisoners. And even more. And more until we know what the Tan's next move is. We must know, whatever the cost. All right, soldier, you got him lined up in your sights? Yes, Sergeant Moss. Then fire at will, soldier. Yeah. Nice shot, son. Thanks, Sarge. Here, let me show you how it's done. General Dartmouth, sir! Captain McCobb, Sergeant Stalwart. Sir. Looks like your company is having a lot of fun out there. <laughs> yes, sir. Didn't know a damn thing about the Tan's operation of battle, or so they say. Only thing they're good for now is target practice. Yes. Well, one did know something. You're aware of this fellow right here, aren't you? Uh, yes sir, that's Major Windsor, that mischievous tan fucker. That's right. One of those shit-colored sandmen out there confessed his location. Here! As you know, the tans have formed this punya line around the Feldgra Mountains. The whole damn thing is made up of these little resistance nests to keep us out. Sandman said that Major Windsor is commanding this one, Resistance Nest 23, right at the foot of Battery Mountain. What kind of Resistance Nest? 
Well, we haven't approached number 23, but the ones we have seen scattered along this line have been these little makeshift pillboxes. Nothing too fortified. I like the idea of hell raining down on a little makeshift pillbox. Now hold on there, cowboy. This ain't about hell raining down. This is about obtaining information. If there's one tan who knows everything about General Dune's next move, it's Major Windsor. Your assignment? Cross the Pungya line, infiltrate Resistance Nest 23, capture Major Windsor with at least three of his men, and bring them back to Hedge Base. Alive. You head out with your platoon at 1600. Go brief your men, Captain. <clears throat> Sir, if you know me, then you know my stance on prisoners. So, I don't think that this operation is meant for a I don't care what you think, Captain Macab. And yes, I do know your stance on prisoners. That's why I'm giving you this assignment. Now we'll see how you can control that itchy trigger finger of yours. Might even be up for a promotion if you can. Dismiss, gentlemen. Nice and quiet. So, a prisoner assignment, huh? What does the captain have to say about this one? What do you care, Moss? Oh, come on! Macab taking prisoners? What am I gonna hear next? That General Dartmouth and General Dune are gay lovers? It doesn't matter what the captain thinks of this assignment, Moss. Oh yeah, it does! You think Macab is seriously gonna take a tan prisoner? In your fucking dreams. HOLD UP! You two, shut the fuck up! Now get up here! Bring the map, Moss! The map, sir. Yeah, give me that. Hmm. What is it, Captain? Something doesn't feel right. Follow me. The rest of you, hold here! Get down! What is it, Captain? Shh! What is it? It's an MG turret. Probably got a 50 cal in that thing. Must be some kind of checkpoint to get through the Punya line. No, it's nearly there to keep us out. Come on. What is it? Sandbag position? Worse. Turret. Probably 50 cal. Shit. Completely fortified? Yep. This doesn't make any goddamn sense. There's nothing on the map about a fucking fortified turret in this location on the Pumian line. What the fuck difference does it make, Moss? It's there and it's blocking our path. We're gonna have to take it out. Damn straight. Alright, first platoon, follow me. Okay, listen up. Half will remain here and engage the turret, and half will flank it on the left. Machine guns, mantis, lawn, don't give them a second to breathe. Chartreuse, hide behind this mound here. If you catch that gunner in the crosshairs, take him. Yes, sir. Rockets, let them have it. That turret ain't indestructible. Moss, stay here. Stalwart and I will be leading the flank. Yes, sir. Uh, how many tans are over there, Captain? Probably around 15, maybe more. We'll find out, won't we? You wait for my signal, Sergeant. All right, let's go! Move out. Let's spread it out, spread it out. We're gonna move in fast. I don't want to be caught out in the open. Stalwart, stay on my ass. Yes, sir. Commence fire! Holy shit! Oh my god! Ah! 
Keep up the pressure! Help him out! is by captain All right, let's finish this shit up. Boss, clear out the turret. We'll take care of the rest. Yes, captain. Open it up. Force, there's a gunner at this. All right, Sandman, we got you surrounded. This doesn't have to end badly for you. We can do this the easy way. Just drop your weapons and slowly come out with your hands up. Fuck you! Fine then, you want to do it the hard way? You got it. Chris, get over here. Do your thing. Yes, Sergeant. the turret. All clear. Any get away? I don't think so, Captain. You don't think? None of them got away, sir. 
Good. Anything? Nope. It's all clear. No valuable intel. Just one radio that wouldn't shut up. What do you mean? It's nothing, Captain. I think the Tans tried to send out a distress call. When we got in there, some HQ were trying to get through. Some place called Gorilla Base. The fuck is Gorilla Base? Well, they ain't getting through. I'll silence that motherfucker. Moss, you son of a bitch! Why didn't you jump on the radio and pretend to be a Tan? Tell them you got everything under control! Tell them you held off the greens or something. What the fuck is wrong with you, Sergeant? Well, sir, I, uh... Yes, I didn't think about that at the time, sir. No, you wouldn't! And now they're probably gonna send a patrol out here, see all these dead tans, and then come looking for us! Sir, I... I'm sorry. I was just... Forget it. Alright, First Platoon, listen up. We're on the clock now. God only knows when the tan will find out about this turret. We gotta get to Resistance Nest 23 now! Get in there and grab that son of a bitch Windsor, and go home. Alright, tactical column, move out!